Henson, California, Central Texas with Tim. I was just there. Um, all right, here comes Danny. Hi, Emily. Where are you coming in from? Let us know. Minnesota, Stephanie Burr near Disneyland. Jody, I love you. Ah, uh, Laura's in New Zealand. Laura, one of my best friends on the planet is Greta Naylor. She's from New Zealand. She was, uh, she's a chiropractor. She was a midwife for like 10 years before she came to a, became a chiropractor. And we went to chiropractic school together. So I know the Kiwi language in the world very well. <laughs> uh, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in. I know that we've got some, we're going to, people are going to continue to come in. We've got a lot of people coming in today. We're going to spend the next hour stretching your belief system a little bit. I'm going to give you a lot of free content. I'm going to give you a lot of ideas about how your practice can become more efficient. If there's a screen that we're looking at together and I want you to screenshot it, I'll tell you this is something to screenshot. I'll even explain how to do that if you're not tech savvy yet. Notice I said yet. And um, at the end of this training, I'm going to show you how you can hire us. I will do no selling until the end. At the end, I'm going to say, okay, you guys, now I'm going to sell, right? I just want to give you content and I want to make it so that you can get to the office on Monday morning or right now if you're there and start implementing these tools. There's nothing worse than going to a training for an hour because our time is our most precious commodity besides our health, right? And just having your time wasted. So I want to give you real deal implementable solutions to move your practice forward without having to hire more people or without having to hire in the first place. So I'm following a presentation over here on my screen. And if it feels relevant to share my screen with you, I will do that. There are a couple of times during this training where I'm actually going to have you grab your phone and interact with me. Um, and I'll let you know when that is, okay? So a couple of things. Let's just lay the groundwork for the next hour. Um, I am where my feet are, right? My feet are right here in Clinton, New Jersey on December 8th, the first, second day of Hanukkah. Uh, I'm 50 years old. I've been in practice for 23 years. I've been sober for 32 years. I married the love of my life since I, I, the minute I met him, I knew I was going to marry him. All of that is, those are the facts, right? The other facts that are relevant to this training are, I'm a pediatric and prenatal chiropractor. That's my language. Those are the lens through which I see. If I take these glasses off, and I happen to have another pair of glasses here, and put these glasses on, I can see through the lens of physical therapist or dietitian or acupuncture. Please understand that the lens that I'm talking to you through today is I'm a pediatric and prenatal chiropractor. I'm a straight chiropractor. I don't do lots of fancy things. Um, so my perfect person that I love to serve is a 30-something mom with the time and energy and resources to do more and give more to her family. That's who I, I built my practice for. And all of the examples I'm going to use today, I'm going to use in reference to my body. I'll use my practice to the other practice. Okay? Um, I, the reason I do this, so a lot of times when people get to know me in my world and they will click, they learn about the level of authenticity that I bring to the table. And the reason I do that is because years ago when I became skeptical, at the, the you know, family, and I, that I, I had no tools available to me to run a business process that helped my staff. And I had to figure it out hard. So I did. I held on up, back up, I figured it out, I figured it out. And before I knew it, I had created all of these systems to never have to have staff again. And I was really in my practice and all of these things were going my way. I found the programs I needed. I found the one click solutions I needed. And then over night, boom, the world changed. The pandemic hit. And all of my friends who had watched my process of going 
going to staff was losing my staff, fearing some about being stated about all these things. They were calling me, so they But what do you do? People are asking about money and are just in What do you do? The water is busy and full scale. I'm just sleeping at that. You guys are really happy. And I had to go to the head of a group of very talented chiropractors for the late Dr. Sue Brown. I was on her staff team as a business coach. And um, I, know, I think this is my turn to step up and to start serving my community. And that was the birth of Staffless Practice. And that was almost four years ago. So here we are, um, thousands of students later, uh, four books in, three of which are bestsellers on Amazon, uh, an academy with three, four thousand hours of content, partners that would, um, that would really make your palms sweat to be in front of these people and to learn from them. And we're here with Staffless Practice Academy. It's been very exciting. So I like to start with this story. And the story is this, okay? There I am on a winter day in Jersey and it's snowing and I get really jumping really early. So I'm sitting around with my and it would be funny, funny to count how many front desk students mom has had that they remember. And they just remember. They could be. They're only the people that they knew of and that they could remember. Because I I fall in love with people. It's my Achilles seal. I see the best in people. And I give and give and give until it becomes flipped. And then it no longer feels balanced or clean. And what would happen is I would hire these really talented people. And I would fall in love with them because we spent so much time together. And they would become my friend. And they would become my doula. And they would become my business partner or my massage therapist. And it got got out of exchange, it got gross, and they would quit. I, I never want, fired one of those 30 people, not one. And um, I, I realized when the last person quit, this one hurt, because this is this person had become my best friend. And when she quit, I quit my life. I'm not, myself, I'm, not anymore. I'm not going to mix my friendships with my staff anymore. In fact, I'm not going to have staff anymore. I'm going to figure out a way to run my practice and get all the things, all the people. Because I was really finding that having to manage people while I was serving my crap was becoming a distraction. And I would listen to what was said on the phone. And I would listen to what was being said about money. And I would listen to what was being said about somebody interacting with eating on the street. And it was having me on some you know, clients, whatever word you like. So I got really good at running the desk. And what I figured out is that there were a few things that, that I needed to really hone in on. And this is what I'm going to show you today. I needed to figure out what to do with the phone because it kept ringing. And I kept answering it, and I was really overwhelmed by it. I needed to figure out how to handle the difficult conversations in the office at the appropriate time. And that usually means you don't have to know about a set. It was that side. It meant having an in-between patch for all things you need to serve. It also meant that I had it. This is the big one, you guys. I had to figure out how to make my physical space in my office congruent. Hey, Eric, what's up? Happy hey, morning, hey, hey. How do I make my physical space in my office congruent with creating these client help yourself areas? So with Sally had to pay if um if Johnny had to release how could I create an area for them to do that without my time being And then I also had to figure out the schedule. That was a big one. How do I 
figure out what kind of this are at what times. How do I do home and tell health not health? I'm trying not to give my time to get sure and sure. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get I'm trying to get sure and sure. I'm trying to get sure and sure. And I find that I'm trying to get sure and sure. I'm sure. Like, you should have done it 10 years ago. But here you are at 50. You better get this done, Joe. Because at 51, it's going to be even harder, right? So, how do I manage the schedule? How do I how do I do all, all of it? So, so let's unpack it piece by piece. So I'm also going to say for those, those who just joined us, hi, hi Nathan, I love you. Um, there's no one can I'm going to share with how can I meet Mark if you want to come to my team. You all have to get the pre-team. No, no, no. So I think this is where I want to start sharing my screen. Hold on one second. So the, well, here were the goals. The goals were to create stability. The goals were to protect a few things. Protection number one was my biology, like my personal space, my physical space, but the goals were to protect my time management and me. The goals were also to protect my time management and me. If I felt that I lived down to cross, and even more so if I found cross, I really can't look good. Everybody has experience somewhere different in their body, right? For me, I feel like a burning sensation in my, my chest when the boundary is crossed. And I kept finding that the person sitting at my desk had, had become like, like a boundary protector. For me, between me and my practice members. So, why did I figure out really, really quickly how do I protect my time, energy, money? How do I protect my physical body to do that? That's not okay. And I used to have bars at your desk that would say, Mr. Smith, you can't do that with Dr. Now I'm fairly safe. These are reasons that people hire staff. Because they can't figure out how to have the one click solutions and they can't figure out how to protect their time, energy, money, and it would be boundary thing, right? When they're in press, what do you want? So, um, the other thing I want to talk about, if you picture that we have an announcement here, if you're really now, you're going to need a lot. If you're my husband, right? Not me. I, I'm the one to take a rock and just throw it into the wall, right? If you're, if you're smart about it, you, you find this stud in the wall. You take the nail, you take the appropriate hammer, and you hammer the nail into the stud. What I'm asking of you is the systems I'm about to show you. you hammer them into the stud of the wall that hold on to them. Know that you're going to constantly pivot with systems that are going to work for your practice. Whether you're still, I give you or the most, hold on, be the one that needs pivoting to happen. Okay. Um, I want to go to, so let's talk about the phone first. I think the phone is the biggest check of people. When, when they call, if someone calls an author right now, they hear what in the message funnel. The voice message funnel address and typical audience, where the star is doing study, and the phone still looks like this. For three days, you're going to hate other people, and this is just an envelope, you know, so on, right, 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 right. These are not the voice messages that come in. These are the actual phone calls that you answer at the office because this is where the biggest time waster, time sucker is out there in private practice. One, the name. Two, the time of day. And three, this might be the hardest thing for you guys, one word to describe why they're calling. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that. One is the name of the person, first name only in case you do this online, you're saying compliant, right? Second is the time of the day. Third is one word to describe why this person is calling. So what will happen after three days of doing this is you'll come up with a list and, and patterns will surface. The patterns usually in a wellness practice is something like this. Sally's calling at 10 a.m. and she's calling to reschedule. Johnny's calling at 11.30 a.m. and he's calling to book his first appointment. Um, Barbara is calling at 4 p.m. and she's calling to the super bill. And the only word would be super bill, 
new reschedule. Okay. So what will happen is you'll start to see this pattern of, okay, people are calling my office to reschedule. People are calling my office to get a super bill. People are calling my office to, um, to, this was another category for me. They hadn't been in the office for a long time and they were returning from taking a break from care. Okay. So great. I won three categories for everybody. And then once you have your three categories, you address each caller on the voicemail. It's a very simple thing, but it's also, it will take you a long way. So the voicemail message in my office will sound something like this. I start with a warm introduction and hey, it's me, Jody. Do this in your voice. I, in my office, I'm everybody's sister. I'm everybody's BFF. I'm like, hey, it's Dr. Jody at Lights for Chiropractic. I'm not going to say, this is Dr. Dinnerman at Light Source Chiropractic LLC. It's not the way that I talk. So do this in your voice. Hey, it's Dr. Jody at Light Source Chiropractic. We've been serving great family care since 2000, since, you know, however long you've been in practice. So that's the first thing. And that's my tagline, serving the whole family with gentle care since 2000. Um, reaching this message means I'm not able to get to the phone. But texting us is the best way to get the help that you're looking for. You can text and then you say your texting number. And we're going to get into texting next. You can text 908-224-4840. Again, that's 908. You repeat it twice. And then you say, if you are a, and this is where you get into three, three categories. If you're a new practice member looking to schedule with us, awesome. Go here. If you are a current practice member with an admin or scheduling need, go here. If you are um, a new a practice member coming back after a long break, go here. Ideally, the go here on your voicemail is texting you because texting is a one-click solution. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Texting is compliant. Texting is cheap. Texting is something that you can very easily delegate. Texting is new front and back front. Um, and texting takes less than two cents. Okay? Some people say, go to my website to schedule. Here's what I want for you. If you say, go to my website to schedule, I want them to go to a website. And when, the, when they go to that website within the first scroll, they see the answer that they're looking for. They don't have to sift through all of these moving parts and all this information. So if it was my office, I, I would say something like, go, go to my website, chiropractic.com to schedule your first visit with us. Look for the blue button when you get there. And they're going to go to the website. They're going to look for the blue button. And they're going to schedule their appointment with you. The nice thing about the is that now, this day, again, if you have a they're all going to be coming to my office. I need to feel for the address when you call my office. Does that make sense to you guys? Okay, so I want you to create a message on this one because it's going to protect time and your money, but also protect the time and your money of the people calling in because they're important. Okay, any questions so far? Because you guys are in my live Zoom, you get to ask me questions. There are always going to be thanks, Jody. I love you. There, this is uh, I'm not, not talking to myself. <laughs> we actually have a, a client on. on the in the Zoom, Dr. Jody, who is telling us how much she loves me, and I love her too. Um, there are going to be some practice members who will not text you. They, they don't like to text. They, there's one person in my practice specifically her name is Deb she still has a phone I've had her all she will next off so you need to make sure that her people are outside of her now inside hold them too lightly create it so that your time energy money is protected okay let's get into the next piece so I want to go in sharing my screen um 
do much good that is kind of cool. So the, and I hope I don't offend anybody by saying this, but let me first say that I've been sober for 32 years. So we have of recently rebranded the Staffless Practice Academy as a 12-step program for recovering efficiency hackers. <laughs> so what I'm about to show you is our 12-step program. And I feel like I'm entitled to do this because 12-step programs literally changed my life, right? So here is the way that this works. And I want to place where you are right now because we're about to get into the texting stuff. I do not want you texting yet if you don't have the steps before that done, okay? So step one of the Staffless Practice Success System, let me make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Can you guys see the steps? Yeah, okay, cool. Step one is preparation. Preparation for some of our students is the hardest part. Preparation looks like, who do I wanna serve? When do I wanna serve? How do I wanna serve? Who are my perfect practice members? What do I wanna charge? Uh, what are my core values? What's my practice statement? Um, why do I do what I do? What's the problem that I solve? These are all preparation for success. These are all step one, because you can't go on to the other steps until you figured out step one, okay? Step two is preparing the physical space. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Step three is balancing your time, including identifying what your visit type should be. Do I wanna do telehealth sessions? Have I been doing a certain visit type for the past 15 years? that quite frank, frankly feels stale. And I don't even know why I do it anymore. So that's time. The fourth step is a texting program and it comes in in that place for a reason. Step five is the phone, which I already explained to you. Steps, you need a texting program before the phone because you can't record a voicemail message funnel with a texting line unless you have a texting line. Does that make sense to you guys? Okay. Uh, step six is an email system, and I'm going to show you that. So the first six steps are all about practice efficiency, and they're all part of what we call our spa try program, okay? The latter steps, steps seven through 12, are all about once you have those efficiency solutions, then it's time to scale. You scale inside the office, you scale outside the office, you scale your team, you scale your wise counsel, you scale your consultants, you scale all of it. But do not, I beg of you, don't start scaling that practice. Don't start growing that practice fast unless you have a solid foundation. Okay, let's get into the texting piece. So this is the piece where I'm going to say to you guys, pull out your cell phones. And what I want you to do Everybody can see a, like a, a texting program screen, right? You see that? Laura, do you see a texting program screen? You're my thumbs up gal. It looks like an inbox. You see my mouse going up and down? We can, <clears throat> we can see it. Okay, cool. Thanks, Ken. So I want you guys to text this number. You ready? Pull out your phone and text this number, and then I want you to watch what happens on my screen. I'm, you're looking at the inbox for my office. Text the number 908-430-9610, and I'm going to say that again. And you can text just your name, 908-430-9610. Text your name and watch my screen. You see that? So Steph and Emily, there's Danielle. There's Jason. Hi, Jason. Okay, so that's that's the text, right? These are all of the text messages that just came through. Let's say I want to get back. Hi, Thea. Let's say I want to get back to Jason, but I don't want to have to rewrite my Zoom link or the directions to the office or whatever the thing is, right? So I'm going to use my template and I'm going to send Jason my hours. That's it, they're sent. Let's say for Melanie, hi Melanie, I'm gonna send um, Jody from Stalas. There it is. And let's say for Tim, I wanna say, yo Tim, and I wanna drop an emoji. I'm gonna wink at him. And then I can put notes about Tim, 
he's an angry dude and he has back pain or whatever it is, right? Delete. Tim, I know you're not an angry dude. The other thing that's really cool about this is let's say that Melanie texted me up her name in here, Melanie, and then um, I'm going to add her to one of my contact lists. I'll add her to leads for staff lists. Okay. Then what I can do is I can send one text out to all of my leads for staff list. There are 487 people on that list. They'll all get that text, but it'll look like it's just going to them. And then I get a bunch of people texting me back. So here's how we use this program. We use it for recalls. So we'll send a recall message out on the first Monday of each month. I, I really do do this in my office. Hey guys, it's Dr. J. I miss you. Um, and I'll, I'll get a list from JNAP of people who are unscheduled and haven't been in for a month. Hey guys, it's Jody. I miss you. Or hey, first name, Bob, Janet, whatever. I miss you. Text back a one to get in this week, a two to continue a break from care, or a three to be removed from this list. And what will happen is we'll have a flood of people texting back one. We can even create an automation that will then say, great, can't wait to see you. Here's the link to schedule, and we'll send them a link to JNAP. No, you do not have to use JNAP to, for this to be relevant to your practice. The nice thing about this program uh, is it's cheap. It's really cheap. It's like $30 a month. Um, it's pretty easy to use. It's not, on a scale of one to five, one is the easiest texting program out there. It's probably a two. There are some nuances, but I teach you what they are. And it's as compliant as compliant can be. The catch with a, a texting program is that it can never be compliant. Because if someone texts myself right now, if someone texts this, this app right now, a message will pop up on my phone. If I'm at Starbucks and I put my phone down and I go to the bathroom, anybody can see that message pop up, right? That's what makes it not HIPAA compliant. However, this company, it's called Simple Texting, they've jumped through every hoop that can possibly be jumped through to make it as compliant as possible. So that's what they say about compliance and HIPAA. There are some companies out there that say that they're HIPAA compliant branded. And um, these guys just call BS on the whole thing. So it's a it's a hot topic within the texting world. Um, any questions about texting? The, the biggest thing with texting, guys, is that you never, ever, 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 ever text health information to a patient, ever. If Sally texts you and says, hey, I have a migraine, what should I do? You say, uh, Sally, please call my office or send me an email. You never do it in a text. Texting is only, by the way, comments. It's, by the way, here's directions. By the way, you left your umbrella. By the way, I'm running 10 minutes late. Uh, by the way, thanks for the referral, da, 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 da. That's the only thing you should be texting for. But think about, go back to your call log and think about why people are calling your office. 90% of the reason that they're calling your office is for a by the way message. By the way, what time was my appointment? By the way, can I reschedule, da, 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 da. Make sense? People get in trouble when they start sending health information through a text. Don't do that ever. Uh, yeah, I agree, Kent. Do you need a new additional line? Hi, Lynn. So um, here's the options with a texting line, especially with simple texting. Um, they will give you a new phone number. If you already have a texting number, you can probably get it ported over. Not for a cell phone, for if you're already using a texting program. So if you have like, um, if you're using like Zing It and you want to switch to Simple Texting, Simple Texting can probably grab the Zing It number and put it in their platform. Um, you can make so that if someone calls your texting number, it forwards to whatever phone number you want. Most we suggest to most of our clients to not do that because it's an additional fifty dollars a month, and you also don't need to. You could very easily educate your practice members to say, "This is our texting number. If you call it, it will go to a dead link. Do not call this number." We have a lesson inside of the academy called Two Birds One Scone, where we teach you how to share all of this with your community. So don't worry. I promise you, we'll lead you right. Um, healthcare virtual assistant helping me with text as I work. Yeah, Jody. 
uh, during practice hours, when do you take care of these texts? I Okay, so here's where it comes together, Laura, okay? I don't ever text my practice, ever. I have a virtual assistant do all of this for me. Here's the kicker, okay? Per 60 visits a week in a wellness practice, per 60 visits a week in a wellness practice, if you follow my lead and you do not take insurance in your office, those are the ifs, one hour of admin support a week per 60 visits. If you do what I tell you to do. If you have insurance in your practice, I would add an hour. So that's two hours per. My virtual assistant does all of the scheduling, all of the check-ins, all of the checkouts, all of the, the texting, all of the new patient integration, all of it in three hours a week, less three hours a week. Because it's all done, it's all automated. Uh, okay, any other questions about texting? In the academy, we show you how to start the program, the nuances of the program. We give you all the texting templates. We show you how to find tags. We show you how to do the import. We show you how to do all of it. In fact, we can even do it for you if you're that kind of client. Okay. Let me keep going because um, I want to share a lot more with you. I'm going to go into email now. Is that cool? Because it's the phone, the text, and the email. So let's go to email. I'm going to share my screen again. Let me say this. Um, in, when we look at step one, let me go back to step one. Step one is preparing for success. Part of step one, and this is the hardest, it's the hardest thing of all of the things that we teach is identifying who you want to be serving, getting crystal clear on it, right? Mine is a Sally with the time, energy, money to give more and do more for her family. She's probably pregnant. She probably has stuff all over her car. She's probably hungry, tired, adrenal fatigued, totally out of balance hormonally. She probably wears a Louis Vuitton bag, drives a BMW SUV, and has four kids and is thinking about a fifth. She's definitely a member of the local country club. Like, I know all of the things about her, okay? I also find that as we change in practice, our Sally changes too. So as long as you take the time to prepare for Sally, and everything you touch and everything you send out has a congruent branded message for Sally. You might see Bob's and Henry's and Jennifer's too, but Sally's gonna know as soon as she gets to you that she's found the right person to serve her. You get it? And your Sally might be a 65 year old professional golfer. Your Sally might be, um, somebody who's been suffering with migraines for the past four years and is on 10 different medications. We all have a different Sally. I just want you to prepare for your Sally. Okay, so let's get into email. And there's a reason why I just went off on that tangent. And I'm gonna show you now. When I send email to a practice member, it has Jody all over it. <laughs> it's got pink, it's got hearts, it's got love ya, it's got, my words, it's got my feeling, it's got my vibe, it's got all of it. And the coolest thing is that my virtual assistant can send these emails on my behalf and still carry that brand, okay? And I'm gonna show you how. If you work with Google Workspace and you work with a HIPAA compliant version of Google Workspace, you can send medical information to your patients, okay? You have to sign a BAA with Google and you are then working on a Google Workspace that's HIPAA compliant, okay? And anything I say that has to do with compliance or legalities, I beg of you to, to still run it by your attorney, still run it by your state board. I'm just telling you what my research has shown me, okay? So um, let me share my screen. Okay, so if I send an email out right now, I'm in my Google Workspace. You guys can see my email, Kent, yeah? Okay. And let's say I want to send a message to Kent. There he is. He pops up. And actually, if you guys look at this, you see how Kent's personal email has his picture in it? That's the kind of fancy stuff we show you how to do. <laughs> okay. So let's say I want to send this to Kent. And let's say um, I'm going to go into, so I'm hitting these three little dots, and I'm going to my templates. 
And these are all the templates that I have already typed up. I don't have to retype them. They're already done. Okay. And I'm going to send them the template for our call today. And there's the message going to Kent for our call today. And then it has my brand. It has, this is actually done twice. Let me just delete that. It has my brand. It has my signature. It's got my personality. So when we did Jody's and when we did Kent's, they're going to have a much different look than mine because this is me and Kent's is Kent's and Jody's is Jody's. You make sense? So what we do for you with this is we give you all of the words for these templates, new patient, thinking about it, sending a super bill. Um, oh my goodness. Directions to the office. Thank you for coming in today. It was great to meet you. Here are the things you need to think about. We give you all of the templates, the whole swipe file. In fact, not only do we give them to you, we show you how to set all of this up. We show you how to get started with the Google Workspace. We show you how to use it. We show you what to do. We show you what not to do. In fact, we can even do all of it for you. So that's, that's Gmail. That's Google. And then the cool thing about a Google Workspace is you can also have your drive and your drive will have your templates, your super bill, your spreadsheets, all compliant. Love Google. Pricing, people ask about this a lot. Simple texting is around $30 a month. If you get it through us, you have to get it through us. And if you say staffless practice, when you get an account, they're going to be less service. And um, Google Workspace is about 8 to $12 a month. And the cool thing is that you can have a VA three states over or two countries over, and they can be doing all of this for you. You can be giving them the words ahead of time. All of your templates will already be in so that they don't have to say, what does she want me to say? How do I respond to this? Cool. It's cool, isn't it? Okay. Um, can you have a VA or can you set an autoresponder? Nice question, Kent. So I think the biggest mistake that we see when we have new clients come into our world is they're automating. They should be automated. <laughs> Here's what happens, okay? Um, I will send a text out to, no, let's back up. I go to the supermarket and I see Sally in line and I'm like, Sally, it's so good to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. Get your butt on my table, right? That's how I would talk to Sally. And I'm, I pick up her baby and I'm helping her with the groceries and that's my exchange with Sally. And then like 10 minutes later, a automated text goes out to all of the people that I haven't seen in a month saying, hey, it's Jody. I haven't seen you in so long. But And Sally gets that message and she's like, she just saw me, right? So there's a level of authenticity about these things. And some of these things need a personal touch. I like having a person sending my email. It has to be the right person. And this is where we go to step 12. Step 12 is developing your wise counsel. People think that staffless practice means not having staff. People think that staffless practice means not being supportive. It couldn't be further from the truth. It's when you do have staff, if you do have staff, they're consultants. And I would have a consultant, an email consultant, handling my emails who would run rings around me circles around me when it comes to sending emails they know more than i do the idea is that you have the right people in the right position doing the right pieces for you and the idea is there are some things that need a person and there are some things that don't your phone does not need to be answered every time it rings in fact if your sally is anything like my sally they don't want to call your office they want to text you because you're only one of 152 things they need to do today and you're just the chiropractor you're just the pt you're just one of many things texting you is going to save them a whole lot of time i promise that's true you will have a deb who doesn't want to text you and you need to create the system for them okay okay i do want to get into practice base. So I think it's an important piece. Let me just see. I want to recenter myself. Hold on, you guys. Okay, let's get into the practice space. Um, true story. When I would have another CA quit, I used to have this really big front desk. And I'm pretty strong, right? And 
I would, I would get my family in the room in the office and every time someone quit we would and Neilin, you can vouch for this you've been to my office we would take my front desk and we would move it all the way over to the other side of the office so that if somebody walked in and there wasn't anybody at the desk i could see them walking in and i could direct them to the desk to get the help that they needed without anybody helping them and then i thought to myself when i was putting this together i really need to create some kind of tool system for you guys to figure out what to do with the physical space in the office. So here's what we have found. We create what's called client help yourself areas. And in my office, because I've got my Sally, and this is why it's important for you to understand where my feet are. My Sally is gonna, thinking like a new mom, she's gonna need diapers and wipes and onesies. She's gonna need after school snacks. She's going to need an area to reschedule herself if her last, her next appointment doesn't work for her. She's going to need a way to pay me without me having to go over the desk and help her with it. She's going to need to get her supplements. I don't sell supplements, but if I did, uh, easily grab a bag and go, right? She's going to need, um, what else? She's going to need toys for Johnny so that when she's getting a job, she's not being distracted. She's going to need toys for Johnny that are easy to wipe down because that's another consultant that I have in my office, what we call a Casper. And a Casper is somebody who comes in when I'm, I never, I see her once a year, maybe if that. And she comes in my office three times a week. She makes my office beautiful and she leaves. And I pay her 20 bucks an hour. I pay her like $40 a week. And she loves being there because it's quiet and it's beautiful. And it's like a peaceful moment for her. So Think about your physical space in your office. Is it conducive for not having staff there? Or if Barb is your front desk person and Barb's greatest talent and passion in life is doing artwork, wouldn't it be cool if you could pay Barb to do artwork for you instead of emptying the trash or filing the papers, right? Because Bar if Barb's talent is put into the mix, she's going to grow your practice for you and you're not going to have to tell her how. Does that make sense to you guys? But you got to make it so that Barb doesn't have to be answering the phone. You got to make it so that when Sally comes in and she needs to pay you, there's a solution for her. And those are all through client help yourself areas. The most popular um, piece to the client help yourself area is what we call love notes. Um, some men call them dude notes, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> and a love note looks like this. So it's a slip of paper. It's usually on a half a sheet and it's going to be different for everybody's office, but we show, we give you the template and you can change it around. And it's a sheet that sits at your office that's waiting to be filled out for scheduling needs, admin needs, changing a credit card on file, whatever is relevant to your office. And this can be another time study thing where you like the call study, you watch what questions are asked during your shift that takes you away focusing on what you do. That's what a love note is. Okay, so texting the phone, the physical space, um, time. That's the last thing I wanted to talk about. We talked about it, the the um, emails. Here's the thing about time. Um, I blinked and my kids were old. They were taller than me. I blinked and the soccer practices were over. Um, this is like the sad 50 year old telling the story, right? I blinked and I had gray hair. I blinked and I'm here I am in menopause, right? You're never gonna get the Saturday mornings back. You're, think about where you were at 10 years ago and then think about where you're gonna be in 10 years. You have got to be the master of your schedule. And if you want joy, in your life, in your practice. I promise my last chocolate bar, if you set a schedule for yourself that truly works for your heart and your purpose, your people will fall into it where they need to. And if they don't, they're not your people. If you don't wanna be working on Saturday mornings, don't be working on Saturday mornings, right? If you no longer want to do a free consult, don't do a free consult. If you want to be paid for the telehealth session that you give to Barb because she wants to tell you a little bit more about her medication change, charge that time. So look at your schedule, 
Look at how much time you spend in the office, how much time you spend on the office, and get to bounce with it. This is time, energy, money exchange. Because you're going to be blinking in 10 years, and you're going to say, where did it go? What could I have done? What would you tell yourself 10 years ago if you could go back? And what I would probably say is go to soccer practice because they're done. They're, you know, there's no soccer practice. And I'm still at them because I was doing spinal screenings at Walmart. So I need them to make for you guys. I mean, right now. Okay, we've got 15 minutes left. So the first thing I want to do is ask questions. Who has questions? <laughs> I'm looking through here. The biggest questions that come up is, do I have to use Jane? No, you, you don't, because the texting program does not see Jane. They don't see each other. They're completely separate programs. So you, can use, you can use Cairo Spring. You can use uh, Mind and Body. It doesn't matter, because the texting program is completely separate. And because it's only $30 a month, it doesn't break bank, but it will completely change your life. OK, one new message. Hold on, I'm coming. Aw, thanks, Melanie. I'm just in a mirror. Some people can't stand me. <laughs> That's true. That's my eating world. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go into my sales pitch. Are you guys ready? I'm going to tell you how you can hire us. So if you have no interest in working with us, go enjoy the rest of your day. This is coming at a very precious time. This is a very big deal. Are you ready? On the first day of Hanukkah this year, little did I know that it was Hanukkah, I decided to launch a new version of our program. So I just showed you what Staffless Practice Academy was. And over the past few months, especially, I keep getting people saying to me, A, I can't afford it. And B, I don't really want to be coached. I just want you to show me what to do. Just give it to me. Let me binge watch it. Let me move through it really fast. And I, I started thinking, wouldn't it be cool if we had like a help yourself kit? Like a kit that gave you everything that I just showed you without me touching it, without my team touching it. We are hands off. So we launched last night on the first day of Hanukkah. And Dr. Ken, I didn't even know it was the first day of Hanukkah. Like bad Jew, bad Jew, right? We launched um, what's called the Instant Access Kit of Staffless Practice. Essentially what we're doing is we are giving you everything you just saw for a year. And we're giving it to you at 70% less than what we usually charge for our program. Ken, can you drop the link for me? The catch is we only have four spots left. So you're going to get what's called our Staffless Practice Academy 12-week program, but you're going to get it for a year. You're going to get the texting kit, the email kit, the phone kit, the practice space kit, the time kit, the tool kit, and the tech kit, which shows you all of my favorite tech programs. And we're giving it to you for $18.97. But if you use the promo code Santa, it will take another $400 off. We have four spots open. So the reason we're doing this is because we want you to have a hands-off experience where you just dive in and binge watch and go for it. If you need us during that year, you will get two support calls. So Let's say you need us in three months from now and you're like, I can't do this. I can't do it on my own. I need you to do the work for me. Then we can upgrade you at that point. We'll take your investment of $14.97. We'll put it towards whatever the program cost is at that time. And we'll take over and we'll do the work for you. If in a month from now you're like, I need to be coached. I need someone to hold me accountable with this stuff. I'm way too overwhelmed. Then we'll take your $14.97, we'll apply it to our accountability program, and we'll be off to the rate. We'll look at where you're at now. And somebody, we have two accountability coaches on our team besides me. Dr. Kent is one of them. So how do you get a VA to, I'll be right with that, Jason. So just to recap, the instant access program right now is $18.97 from a $4,800 program. If you use the promo code Santa, it's going to take $400 off. You will have it immediately. And you can start creating these changes, getting my swipe files, all of it. If you need an upgrade or if you know right off the bat, I'm going to need help with this, then I'm going to drop my calendar link and let's jump on and see where in your, our world you fit. We have a program that where we'll do all of the work for you. 
we have a program for teams where if you have a team of 10 people at your office, I will work with your team. I'll build you a website. I'll build you a Jane app account. We'll get all of it for you. That's our elite program. We have a program that just moves through the content that we just went over and you're coached through it with somebody like Dr. Kent. All of those are options. But if you're like, let me have it, let me get started today, then you're going to want our instant access program. And Kent, if you can just drop it one more time. Okay. Do you recommend switching from Zingle? You know, Jody, I can't speak to that because I, let me just say this. There's a reason why we suggest simple texting. That's all I'm going to say. I don't, I don't want to be negative at all. Um, I just, I feel like if I'm going to give my money to a program every month, I want to feel really good about the people receiving it. And um, I love the Simple Texting team. They're magic. They're so good. They're as good as the GMAP team. Just like ridiculous service. Um, how do you get a VA to handle text? Typically, they answer your phone and send emails for appointments. Usually, no, 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 Jason. <laughs> so the idea, so it's really important when you get to step 12, which is building your wise counsel, that you're thinking about bringing consultants in who are drinking the Kool-Aid of your practice. The person who runs my texting program, who is the front face of my practice, even though it's virtual and online, they love me. They love chiropractic and they love what I do. If you're looking at two to three hundred dollars for 60 to 80 hours of phone time, you're looking at hiring the wrong person. This is a twenty dollar an hour job, maybe twenty five something in there. This is a few hours a week max. This is somebody who would wait in line to get your service. And there's a there's a, a an art form to hiring that person. And that's all in our program, not in instant access. We don't go into hiring there because it's on step 12. Our instant access program is only the first six steps. If you want to start working with team stuff, if you want to start working with building the practice stuff, you're talking about our bigger program, which is called scale. I'm going to go ahead and drop my calendar link. If you guys want to talk to me before you figure out where you where you are in our world, um, we can certainly start with a call. And you know how to get in touch with me I, wherever you found this recording invite or this invite for today. That's where you find me. And we'll just go back and forth. The instant access program is if you want a really good deal and you want to start Monday morning with these tools. Go spend the weekend, binge watch all the stuff, implement all the stuff. It's a complete steal. And we're giving you another $400 off. Jody, can I drop a little plug on the Please 12 Please do, Dr. Kent. Great. So I am one of the accountability coaches working with Dr. Jody. I coached with her opening up my practice. And she turned around and hired me on board because we jive so well. Um, but there's been a lot of development in the program. There's so much material that Dr. Jody's amazing brain has put together over the years. And what we've done with the 12 week program is really boiled it down to some of the material that we offer today over what are the simplest, easiest, most applicable things that you can put into place that are going to have the biggest impact on your practice efficiency. Like they don't even need to take that much time, but when you're clear on them, they can save so much time, energy, and resources. And the cool thing is that we reduced it down to where it's actually not an overwhelming amount of work. And if you get those in, that sets this foundation for you to do whatever you want to do afterwards, whether that's continue with us and continue growing or blow up your online programs or schedule, you know, whatever your dream is, having this foundation is a support for that because we find that people coming to us are wasting a lot of extra time, energy, resources, just mental, physical, nervous system drain. And a lot of this admin stuff that can either be not done or automated or hired out with a VA or something like that. So it's a really streamlined program and uh, people get a lot of benefit out of it because it's not overwhelming. It's not crazy. It's really the foundations that are going to have the biggest impact.
It might be a little bit overwhelming because there's it's not dripped. Like you guys can dive in and eat all of it up or you can piecemeal it and go one class at a time. Our regular version of the academy that you guys are getting in instant access is actually dripped over 12 weeks. I'm just opening it up and you guys can just dive in and have at it. So um, we now have two spots left. So I'm telling you guys, if you want it, there are two spots. Does the instant access cover payments and scheduling? It covers scheduling. It doesn't go into money. It doesn't go, uh, it might go a little bit into fair exchange, but it doesn't go into like, what do I charge? You know, things like that. It does go into scheduling though. It goes into time mapping. It goes into outside the office scheduling, inside the office scheduling. It goes into visit types. It goes into, um, the schedule when you're in the office, we actually, Dr. Kent and I were talking about this this morning. What do you do with your Monday? Like, how do you divvy it up? Do you want to see new clients first and then go into current practice members? It goes into brainstorming on all of that content. What other questions do you guys have? Was this helpful? Did this feel like a good use of your time? Yeah, good. Okay. Any other questions? Thanks, Tim. Does the instant access code, right, I already answered that. You know, the cool thing is that um, one of the things that we do a lot of market research and we make sure that our clients are happy, that's really important to me. And before every one of our coach calls, and you get two support calls during your program with instant access, um, if, you, if you want our accountability and coaching program, you can have as much coaching as you want if you're part of that program. But that program is more money, it's 4,800. This is only 1,497. So um, we ask for a feedback form every time we have a coaching session and we have people grade their experience with us and we have fives across the board, five out of five. And if people say to us, it's a three or a four, we knock on their virtual door and we say, how can we serve you better? And our happiness guarantee is 110% money back guarantee if you're not happy with your experience with us, as long as you can show us that you've done the work. If you can show us you've done the work and you tell us you are not happy, I will give you your money back. But you have to be able to show us that you've done the work. Uh, there's a new method. Do you send a link? Yes, Melanie. So we're going to send a recording of this link to anybody who is registered today. Obviously, you were. That's why you're here. We've got one spot left, you guys. Okay. I'm loving you guys from here. Go make the world better with great care. Dr. Kent, you've got my whole heart, my brother. Jody, I love you. If you you know if if I love you, you know that I love you, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Go make the world better.